Hi everyone, so in today's video I have just a very chill what's in my bag and I'm going to be featuring my brand new Coach Tabby 26. This is the refreshed version in the color chalk. So let's get started. Look into my eyes, just keep it real cause I don't want to be surprised. I heard enough of all the lies, I've seen it all so I don't ever take advice. That's how the truth I got to me. This is going to be my last coach bag for a while because I'm going to take a bit of a break from purchasing coach products. So I thought to myself, might as well go out with a bang, get the bag that I really want for summer, and enjoy it. Now the reason I purchased this bag is I really wanted a timeless classic, and I think that the Coach Tabby 26 has really made its mark for Coach as a whole. So let's get into the details. So here you can see that there's a back slip pocket. And we have the shoulder strap here, which is removable. As you can see, this is detachable. So you can switch out the shoulder strap with the crossbody strap. Or you could really use any chain that you want. So that's what I love with this bag is it's so versatile. You can use this for many occasions. For example, I plan to use this for work, to go out for dinner. And honestly, when I leave my house, it's mainly one of those two things aside from running errands for which I have other bags, but I really want to use this either for work, errands, or dinner. Okay, so for what's in my bag, I have a few extra items on the side here, which I'm going to try to fit in as well and just play around. So basically, I'm just going to be playing Tetris while you guys have a look, and hopefully this will help you make a decision as to whether this is a bag that you'd want to purchase. So for me, normally I usually don't carry my phone in my bag, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm just setting this off to the side for now. And let's go through what I have in here. So first off, I have my Louis Vuitton six key holder. And I love this piece so much. Sometimes I use this as a wallet but that fits, no problem. Next, I have a coin purse. I really like keeping my coins set aside from my wallet because I don't like the feeling of money inside your wallet. So this is my coin purse. So next, this is my Coach chain wallet, and this was a gift from Coach Retail. I actually got it the same day that I purchased the Tabby 26. It's super cute. As you can see, I'm storing my cards in here right now. And this is in the color Light Violet. Okay, so next we have a mirror. I got this from Shein. It has a little bear on it, and it's white and black. So I really love that. And finally, we have my catch-all, which I've been using a ton, you guys, and this was like a dollar. But what I really love about it is I can store the makeup that I need for the day. So this is lip balm. This is a lipstick. And I have my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Face Powder. So I'm just keeping these things in here because this patch is very thin, which I like. Okay, so I've just emptied out this bag completely and that way I can show you the room. There are two main compartments here. You have the story patch. This is the new suede lining or microfiber suede and whatever this is that they used, I really love it. It feels way more luxurious than the first rendition of the tabby. Now you have a zippered compartment and I still have the dust bag here. I'm just keeping that here for now. But the new addition is the third gusset and it's very flexible, it's very easy to open. So I see this being really convenient when you have this on your shoulder and you just want to quickly grab something. There's better organization in this bag. 
even the leather feels super luxurious compared to the previous one. I really love the feel of this leather, you guys. The stitching is impeccable, and this is definitely more structured than the previous Tabby 26. So I just had to get it as my last coach bag. Let's try to fit some of my things. So first of all, if you want to carry your phone, that could go perhaps in the gusseted pocket. So for me, if I was actually carrying my phone in here, I would keep that in there by itself. Next, I need to have the wallet, so I'm gonna put that back in. Then the key case, or your keys. The mirror. The makeup pouch. And this is getting a little bit thick, you guys. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna close at this width, but we'll give it a try. So next, I have something that's a little bit thicker. This is my YSL Compact. Let's try to fit her in. And let's see if this will close first of all. I'm not sure if it will. No, it won't. So we're gonna have to do some readjusting. I think it'll close if I actually take out the phone. So I'm gonna take it out and we'll slip it into the back pocket. It's actually a tight squeeze, so it's not quite fitting. I don't wanna force it. I don't really like to force the shape of my bags. So let's take out the phone. And it's actually still not closing yet. Okay, I'm back. So I've just taken out a few things and I've tried to put in some of my other stuff. So as long as you have thin items to go in the back, I think that the more thick items can still be in the front and that should be able to close. So let's give it a try. Yeah, so that is perfect. It closes and there's no bulging on the sides either. Everything looks as it should, which is great. What I love about this bag is that it has a little bit more weight to it than the previous tabby. It just feels so substantial when you're holding it. So I really love that. If I had to have one coach bag in my collection, for sure it would be this one. So the trick is to keep thin items back here, your thick items here, and then you can fit your phone in this pocket. So I highly recommend this bag. I think that it's very versatile for day or night. I did purchase this at full price. I really don't foresee this bag going on sale and if it does, it does, but that's cool with me because I will thoroughly enjoy this bag. I've already used it once or twice since I got it and I literally just got it one day ago. So it's been perfect so far. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me. You can leave me a comment and I'd be delighted to hear from you guys. So until then, take care.